Previously on Asia's Next Top Model, the girls learned the essentials of being sexy from model mentor Joey Mead King. Today's lesson will be all about bringing sexy back. Being in her element, Helena clinches the victory in the challenge. Much to the displeasure of some. With Helena, I think it was lucky she won. The girls got to work up a sweat with international model Jason Godfrey during their photo shoot. But it wasn't all smiles as a wardrobe malfunction pushes Daniel over the edge. You were told that you're supposed to wear a G-string for every single job, right? Just give her thanks. All right, I'll give this to someone else more deserving. Sophia rose head and shoulders above everyone else for the best photo of the week. As G and philanthropy were sent packing in a shocking double elimination. For both of you, you will be going home. Nine girls are left, each vying for the top prize of a modelling contract covering the UK and Europe with London-based Storm Models, including a three-month, all-expenses-paid working trip to London, a cover shoot with Harper's Bazaar magazine, a cash prize of 100,000 Singapore dollars, a contract to become the face of Canonix's 2013 campaign and drive away in a new Subaru XV. Who will be one step closer to becoming Asia's next top model? There's a gift with your name on it placed on the bed that will now be your new resting place. Regroup and be ready for what lies ahead. What does it mean? Does, does that mean that we're going to have different roommates now? Uh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh oh As our beds with different names on it, just like, where are we going to sleep? Oh. I'm sleeping next to Asta. We're sharing a bed together. And she's like my least favorite person in the house. <laughs> oh. Oh. This time, Rachel. Oh my god, oh. we're not in the same room. Thanks, sir. I'm no longer on a single bed. I am sharing a bed with Melissa and my other roommate is Stephanie. <laughs> I'm happy to still in my own room. <laughs> but happy that kids come to my room because she's nice. Hey, yeah. you have to sleep with me! <laughs> My new roommates are Sophia and Helena. When we got into the room, both of them were upset, so I was like a little worried, uh, like, do they hate me? Me and Asta, we haven't really gotten along a lot in the past weeks. She's a very negative person. She's such a negatron, and she just complains the whole time. I know it's so beautiful. <laughs> I'm just surprised. Oh, this is like really wow. cute. <laughs> we got some Peter Alexander nightwear. So I got nightgowns, some nice shorts and a top and some slippers. It was really, really cute. Wow. Dear fat girls ANTM, you guys have become my fam. On my bed, philanthropy left a note for everyone. Kate, Rachel, Sophia. Sorry I didn't hug you guys, I didn't want to cry. No words can explain how much I care and love you girls. We should give it to the rest of the girls. Yeah. Philanthropy is my friend. She left the one led. I thought, it, I thought it was gonna be only for me. But no, she wrote about everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Philanthropy, she's a bad girl now. Why in that letter she talk about Elaine? <laughs> Did you see what um <laughs> I <saw> he wrote <laughs> for you? Helena, <laughs> <laughs> um, I like your focus, but please don't be a mean girl to other, especially Melissa. <laughs> what? Am I mean? 
Aren't you joking? I came into this house and I honestly think I've been really nice to the girls. I think all the girls have it in their head that I'm the bitch. No matter what I do, they like to have somebody to talk about and I'm that person. Retro prints by day, leather and studs by night. She who knows her style knows her substance. Love, Love Nadia. Nice. Yeah. Styling, Yeah. What we have to do is you create a day look and then a night look. The we go to the, the shop in the, the shop and then we have to make up by oh, my true. son. And I think out of all the girls, Trong um, has the hardest time speaking. English? Chang definitely had no idea what was going on. Every time I spoke to Chang, she would just be like, just so confused. I think I a little understand or not clearly. I, I speak English not good. I don't care about that. I think I can uh, model in good. It's okay. Parco Next Next, which is the retail arm for all things supporting fashion and showcasing the fashion industry. So you girls are so lucky today because we have international fashion stylists from Emmy Award winning show, How Do I Look? Ladies, give it up for Miss Jeannie Mai. How are you ladies feeling? I watch her show, How Do I Look? And to see her in front of me was just like starstruck. <laughs> I hope you all are as excited as I am because I was dying to come here and meet you. I cannot wait to share this time with you and go through our challenge today. Yeah. Ready to get styled? Yeah. Let's go. Woo. It is said that the first three seconds upon meeting somebody will give them a lasting first impression. As a top model contender, the entire world is judging you on whether or not you have what it takes to be Asia's next top model. There are three elements to fashion in order to tell the world your message. It is color, shape, and ensemble. Color sends a message of what you're saying. If you're wearing red, that you're probably telling somebody that you're very passionate, you're fiery. Shape tells them what is your mood. When you wear something that's a little clingy and shapely, it says you're very sexy and you're sensual. Ensemble is where you get to project your style. So I'm gonna throw out a theme. Who is kind of straight up and down? Sophia. Sophia, perfect. Come up here, Sophia. Jeannie showed us how to style like based on different figures, kind of like adding your own personality to what you're wearing. So that was like a really fun lesson. So this is challenge time and I understand there are new roommates. So first group will be Rachel, Melissa and Steph. And group two will be Trang, Jessica and Kate. And group three, Ashta, Helena and Sophia. So you will have 10 minutes to style the theme I'm going to give you. Group number one, you are going to style the theme sexy. Group number two, you are going to style the theme edgy. And group number three, you are going to style the theme quirky. So, here's how the challenge will work. Together as a group, your job is to define the theme I have given you. However, only one girl will win. Well, there you have it, ladies. Starting now, you have 10 minutes. Ready, set, go. This whole area. I think it was a disaster. It was so tough, like not even funny. I think it was like the 10 minutes, the whole running around and we had to like stick in groups. No, it's not sexy at all. I kept saying, there's no sexy in here. There's nothing sexy, there's nothing sexy. So we just grabbed anything that looks like they have shape. Yeah, we basically panic, panic, panic. <laughs> this is too boring. Sexy, sexy, sexy. So you like pink? 
Okay, so get them. Did you guys think we should do the same design? I think we win as a group too. Austin had a dress that she was holding. I was like, no, no, come on, like let's pick something from here. So we're all like coordinated from this one designer. Like that? Yeah. This is a fashion. Fashion, yes. Trun, she had some hard time because her English is not that good. She didn't understand about edgy. It was quite a teamwork, actually. We just picked out accessories and shoes and everything for each other. Us just was very cluttered. I was trying to concentrate more on myself, as well as looking at her, and I was like, yeah, 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 you look good. <laughs> okay, good. I like, you know what I'm doing? Yeah, we're kind of hunting, like, okay, we've got dress on, and accessories were plenty. But like, there were hardly any shoes, so we were like, I need oh my god. But it's a challenge, so it's supposed to be tough, it's supposed to be crazy. Girls, you have one more minute. Quick, quick! So you, you want yeah. to change the, the clothes or not? Because it's not connected. This one. No! You we have to change. Trang is trying to be like, no pink, no pink, it's not match. But I don't care, it's my style, so I picked that pink one. Yeah. You have to change this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Great job on 10 minutes, but now as we inspect them, we'll really see if it was a great job or not. First group is Melissa's group. So your theme was? Sexy. We don't know, dress too short and like, you know, slutty kind of sexy, so we wanted a very sophisticated kind of sexy for all of us. What was happening with the shoes department? We had a hard time looking for shoes, and I had to wear like my red McDonald's shoes. They didn't go with my outfit, and like, that was kind of weird, but you know you have to make do, so. I always say you should wear heels as high as your hopes. Now tell me about your accessories. I chose this to portray like a funky and yet feminine, like subtle. I think Joey and Jeannie are really disappointed. Like, it shows in their faces. I don't see any sexy. It's all over the place, staff. There's nothing that matches here. So to our second group, I love this. Yeah, you're feeling it. So you guys were edgy. Why did you pick for Edgy a dress instead of pants? Because it's fun in the back. It's a lot of things <laughs> fun here. So Trang, is this your version of Edgy? Yeah, this is my personality. I like my strong, strong look. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. And then what about you, Kate? I'm kind of like sporty girl. I don't like something too tight. Ah, sometimes I like tight. Yeah, I like <laughs> But today is AG, so I choose something more loose and more fashion. Perfect. <laughs> so our last team is Team Quirky. Wow. It's <laughs> a lot going on. It's like a factory explosion. <laughs> I thought we pulled it off. I thought we looked really quirky and outrageous. So tell us about this look as a group. Uh, well, quirky to us is out there. It's bold, it's confident. The fact that you have five colors going on already on the ensemble, but you decided to add to it with a yellow clutch. And then an interesting layer of socks. You go from quirky to I don't own a mirror at home. Uh-oh, we did not do a good job. We had too many things going on, especially me. It was like too much at once. Great job, ladies. However, the winning group will be determined on the best dressed theme, and the winning individual, the best personalized style. So with that in mind, the winning group that nailed the theme is group number two. <laughs> Out of group number two, there is only one winner that reigns supreme, and that is the person that has captured their personality through the look of edgy and stood apart from your group. And that person will be Jessica. I didn't expect my first win. So happy. This is my day. Today is my day. So I'm really happy they chose Jessica. Of course, like, if they choose me, I'll be happy. Maybe next time it'll be me. Congratulations, Jessica. And for this challenge, you win a $500 shopping voucher here at Parco Next Next. And not only that, 
you will be winning a iconic timepiece worth three thousand five hundred Singapore dollars from George Jensen. Wow! Congratulations! I'm so happy. In the competition, I I think no one are friends of me. If the next photo shoot I'm win, they will be afraid of me. Wow, look at I got a lot of things, a lot of stuff. I love it. Love it a lot. Welcome to George Jensen. Wow, it is so beautiful watch. This is the first expensive water in my life. Incredible. Group, I have something. Okay. Oh. This Kate and now. Uh... <laughs> Very happy because I have a gift here. The ring for me and one ring for Kate. Wow! Wow, they give a beautiful watch. And they have a mirror so she can Oh, it's gonna be like <laughs> so cute. It's still edgy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, I'm so proud of you. Have you done something really mean? That's what I, I was very confused about. I mean, I didn't think so. Most of the girls, <laughs> they don't like me at all. They didn't like I was doing well in the competition. When you feel something, you show it. I like that you're very honest, which is good. Helena always appears mean, and she's always alone, so people didn't really know who she is. I don't think Helena really did something mean to Melissa. <laughs> How are your new roommates? Do you miss me and Kate? Alpha Land, her goodbye. She left with the bang indeed. Do you read it? Like, do you know what she said? I guess I've kind of seen her being rude, mean to Melissa. Helena, I think she's playing everyone like individually. You know, be manipulative and she's like playing the game. Whereas like I have a harder time with that. I'm like definitely more of like an honest person. Actually, it was really funny because on the first day, I was like, oh my gosh, everybody's so nice. So much drama already. <laughs> the only really thing I, I want in this competition is to win. So I, if they like me, they like me. If they don't, they don't. But at the end of the day, like, I just gonna try to do my best here. Okay, ever dreamt of living it up on the French Riviera? Get ready to set sail tomorrow. We're sailing. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I can take me. We can do that. We're ready to set sail. Yeah. Playboy fragrances for her and for him. day it is here at Marina Keppel Bay and a perfect day to soak up the sun and feel that wind through your hair because all of you are going on a boat excursion. <laughs> but at the end of this journey lies your next photo shoot. So enjoy that sun. Come on the boat. Let's sail. <laughs> I'm not really close to anybody in the house at the moment. It's like I'm in high school again. It's just I can't have an intelligent conversation with anybody in this competition. I'm very frustrated with everybody in the house and getting very homesick. Hi, girls! Are you girls? This is the lovely Nongsa Point Marina and Resort here in lovely Indonesia. Yes. So I want you to rock the shoot. I want you to feel the sophistication of the French Riviera. Okay, photographing you today is Singapore-based Filipino photographer Chuck Reyes. Now he shot some amazing people. He shot Asia's megastar Stephanie Sun. He's also shot for international publications like Nylon, Esquire, and regional publications like August Men. So he is going to be shooting all of you on vacation. Wow. So shall we start our top model vacation? Yeah. Come with me, come with me, yay! 
I have been trying to be a model since I was 13 years old and I've never gotten the chance. If you look at Melissa, she's so short. She woke up one day and she saw that there's, oh, there's a competition I'm going to enter. She has no passion for it. I don't understand what she's doing here. It's so funny. Last night I thought I was so confident in myself because I like this kind of face, you know. Kate, can you stand up? Can you see how dirty your knees are now? So please behave, okay? Not good. Really serious. I'm, I'm play. I still play girl, but I'm really serious too. Don't smile. I'm like a little bit sad almost. Okay, for the shoot today, I want the girls to have a kind of restrained sexiness, to be very feminine in a classic way. Yes, chin up a bit. That was a good pose. There you go. I think Ashta is really stepping up. She's posing behind a glass frame. She needs to have an eye line with the male model and yet communicate with the camera on the other side of the room. She looks like a very young Sophia Loren. Yes. Very nice, Ashta. It's like you found this cute boy on vacation. You're like, hey, he's mine. Okay? And you don't, you don't want to be all about him. Rachel's not doing the best. I feel like it's, this, it's not connecting. You know, my instructions reaching her is not exactly what I'm getting. Yeah, let's try something else. Chin up, Rachel. Done. Okay, good. Starting out the competition, so I was a little like bottom two and stuff, and then I'm slowly working my way up, so it's kind of really important for me to keep it up, you know? So I came on this shoot and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna bring it my all. Would you like a lot of movement like, for me to play my dress? At the start of the shoot, Melissa actually went up to the photographer and asked questions. So it shows that she's communicating, and that is what every model must learn. It's a little too stiff now, the body. Let it open up a little bit, the mouth. What if you turn a little bit more left that way, that way? Make it not too much, there. Strong, yeah? Not smiling. Okay, close your eyes. You look like you're squinting. Close your eyes. The sun is hurting my eye and I'm trying too much to give them strong look that I squinted. Change it up every so often, your elbow out. Yes. They gave me a chance by closing my eyes and counting to three and so I can open it. One, two, open. But I still do the same. You know, what if you have your legs on the side? I like this better. Hmm. I can see the outfit. Yeah, she opens up more. I have to be a good girl now. Listen to advice. I have to be a professional. So they can see I'm taking it serious and I want to win this competition. Chin down a bit more. Maybe give me more profile this way. Yeah, longer neck, chin up a bit. Nice. Mm, beautiful. Kate has finally stepped up. She's got one of the most difficult shots. She's lying on a glass table and not only are they catching her expression, they're catching her reflection. Kate. It's such a great surprise today. Very nice. Very, very nice. Relax, relax yes. your body. I did a terrible, terrible job on my last photo shoot, so I really needed to make a comeback. There's something very classic about it, which is what exactly what we're going for. I just don't want to go because this competition means so much to me, and I think I deserve it more than any of the other girls. Sophia, <laughs> you were... You're too straight on me. I want you to tilt a little bit. There you go. Just relax your fingers. Your right hand looks like an electrocuted spider. I was thinking about all these things, my body position and uh, maintaining the hand that he liked. I wish I kind of did more. Come on, Sophia. Concentrate. Mm. Relax your mouth. Give me more profile. Lean forward more. She's a bit awkward. I feel like she's not comfortable in her height. She wasn't stretching out, so I was a little disappointed in that. So pretty much you're gonna sit here and go this way. Jessica, stronger eyes. But I want more tension in the face. I'm sorry, can I look at the view? What's that? The view? Oh, of outside. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> We're talking about people who are born to model. Mm-hmm. I think I'm shooting yeah. one right now. Very nice. Mm, I love shooting Jessica. I didn't have to do much. I just had to press the button because she just moved exactly the way I wanted. There's an X factor there. Strong, right? Yes. Just drape yourself on this couch. Uh, yeah. The outfit and the hair makeup today uh, made me very excited. I feel very confident about this photo shoot today. Give me some angles with your face, with your hands. 
You have to move your legs. Eyes more, more here, more here, more here. Too Can't posy. relax. Relax. Too posy now. It's too posy. It's not working at all. Can you understand me? A, a little bit. You don't understand anything? A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, let's try, let's try, yeah? I can't really tell if she's trying because I don't know if she's understanding me. The pictures look horrible. Listen to him. If you don't understand, ask, okay? What if you come farther down? Come down, move your whole body down. Yep, down, down this way, down this way. I've worked with Brazilians, Russians, French models, Chinese models who don't speak a single word of English, but it's intuition. Try to move around. Relax, find your pose, yes. There you go. I'm very scared. Then you're very hot, very serious. You don't understand, you have to act. Done. Okay. That was the longest 10 minutes of my life. Ah! What's happening? Honestly, what's happening? I, I personally feel like emotionally traumatized to an extent. Helena is... I don't know, maybe through the body languages, you can just kind of sense a bit of tension there. It what did she is. do? Okay, like, you know, during elimination, when I was walking back, she glared at me and she rolled her eyes. I was like, what? what? What was that for? I felt that was really uncalled for. Well, yeah, I guess I've seen it. To me, I feel like it's weird. Like, you don't yeah, treat people you don't need that... to do that. Yeah, like, you don't make any sense. I realized that she's just really angry inside and it just comes across as cold and really rude. To me personally, like I, I don't care what story she gives because it's like I don't believe it. I personally, I always look at what's good in people. Even yeah, if some, I see something bad, I would always try to get past through that and see the good inside. I feel very personally attacked. I keep getting this over and over and over again. I don't think I deserve this. No, I mean, I don't think it's fair for me to right. get like this. I really don't think it's fair to me. It's, it's not fair. It's not, it's not. Just because I'm smiling doesn't mean like, you know, I don't feel it. Ladies, welcome to your fifth round of judging. By now, you know the fabulous prizes at stake for the winner of Asia's Next Top Model. A modeling contract covering the UK and Europe with Storm Models, including a three-month all-expenses-paid working trip to London. You will also land yourself on the cover of Harper's Bazaar magazine, 100,000 Singapore dollars, and you will be the face of the Canon X's 2013 campaign and drive away in a new Subaru XV. And now, on to our judges. The multi-talented photographer, Todd Anthony Tyler. Your model mentor, Joey Mead King. And our guest judge this week is from the Emmy-nominated TV series, How Do I Look? She's the fashionista and style guru, Jeannie Mai. Good luck, lady. So let's get this started. The girls had to travel to Nongsa, which is in Batam, Indonesia, and they had to channel the French Riviera kind of feeling. So, let's see how the girls did. First up, we have Kate. How did you feel at the photo shoot? The view is so beautiful, so I just look at the windows and just try to focus and give my best. Okay, let's have a look at your best photo. Looks refined and focused. Now, if you can bring that to every shoot, and it's just a matter of using your imagination, because you see what that did for you. Kate. <laughs> I got you there. I love the change that you did. If you uh, turn the photo upside down, I actually like your reflection. I saw this bubbly, giddly, little fun girl running around, and the entire time, I never thought for one second you could pull off this sophisticated look. Thank you, Kate. Thank you. Thank you. Stephanie. Let's have a look at your best photo. Did you have an issue with light? Yes, because it's like the outside part. It was a challenge for you to be facing the sun, but I think did a pretty good job of showcasing the clothing. Thank you. Thank you. Rachel, what's the first thing that comes to mind? As if I have a secret. Know that you have a secret. You're hot as hell. 
I think you could have translated that a little bit better here. Your facial expression saved the shot, though not one of my favorites. Thank you. Thank you. Jessica, let's have a look at your best shot. I like when you walk down here, you seem much more confident than any times before. And I kind of think I see that coming through in this shot. What I really loved when I watched you was you asked one of the stylists to please move to the side. I want to see the view. And I was like, good on you. I was just hoping a bit more playful, but it's a beautiful shot. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. Sophia, let's have a look at your best photo. You're not owning anything in the shot. You're not owning the shot. You're not owning the outfit. And you just look very, very tentative in your expression. I'm a little annoyed of you and the way that you're approaching this. Did everybody tell you as you were growing up, shooting up this height with these beautiful long limbs that you were told you should be a model? Thank you. Thank you. Melissa, let's have a look at your best photograph. I think I look quite tall from this angle. I think it's actually not the best angle. And this is not your best photograph. And I'm really surprised with your personality that you didn't manipulate this shoot to benefit you. This winning personality of yours needs to be projected through every one of your photos in your own variation without question. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you. Helena. Let's have a look at your best photo. For me, it's a little bit posed. But overall, I really like your face. This picture to me, it says, I want this dress. I want every single element, the accessory, the turban, the nails, everything. I want what this woman is wearing. I absolutely love it. Thank you. Ashta, let's have a look at your best photo. I love the slight turned up mouth. It's just almost a smile. It is a knowing smile. Because when we see you like this, we might not always feel the model that we end up seeing in the shot. But when they put the makeup on you and do your hair, you just really come alive. My favorite parts are the points of your shoulders. Most women don't pay attention to their clavicle. It's the most sexiest part of a woman's decolletage. And I really want you to remember that you've got what it takes. Thank you. Try. Let's have a look at your best photo. I see eyes that are actually focused on something. However, your mouth, it's a bit hard. I hear that you had a hard time understanding the photographer. He had a very difficult time communicating with you. And in fact, Daniel had to come in and help you with your poses because you didn't understand. If you don't understand, you have to ask questions. So speak in Vietnamese and Jeannie can tell us. Yeah, I'm not sure what you 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 À, những cái từ đơn giản mấy tuần này em có thấy là em bị lạc tại em không hiểu tiếng anh không chỉ có nhưng có nhưng mà chỉ chút xíu thôi so trang you are basically confirming that there were many times you didn't understand why didn't you ask anybody if you didn't understand i'm just a uh, uh, a little bit afraid so. afraid yes why Honestly, quite shocked to hear that you just haven't understood the whole time. We didn't really comprehend how much you didn't understand. I know my whisper, so I have to uh, learn in. So Trang, as you can see, there have been a lot of missed opportunities because you haven't told us that you don't understand, and that is a great shame. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. The judges and I will now deliberate, and when we call you back, you will know who is still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. And Asia's ultimate destination. Resorts World Sentosa, Singapore. So judges, we have the girls' pictures that are the best of this week and there are some surprises and there are a lot of pictures of girls who are not surprising us. You know, basically it's the same thing over again. And so we have Rachel. She hasn't had a chance to shine though. I think she just gets by. Uh, but I haven't been able to see Rachel totally spark. I think she's a smart player. 
She's waiting for her moment. We're just seeing Helena again. We're not really seeing much progression in her. She already photographs pretty well. Trang, she looks like a model. Like Helena, I guess, you know, they've both come in at this, this level and have they really gone anywhere? She see a little bit of something in her eyes. Is it really recognition of what's happening or like, what is that really saying? She's really not trying to fight to win this moment for herself. Sophia is giving us something, but it's the wrong thing. It's such a great, great shame. And she was on such a high last week, you know, and she won best photo. She goes a little hot and cold. Compared to Kate, for example. I see so much art in being able to pose against a glass table, against a mirrored edge, to look delicate and assertive. She's growing. And like Ashta, her improvement is also quite vast as well. I think we're seeing a personality slowly break. And people want to see that on set in castings and in the photo. But that's why I like Melissa usually. Because Melissa does generally comprehend what's going on. Unfortunately, this is a very empty, far off, nothing there expression. You look at Trang and without her speaking or knowing her personally, you say, that's a model. And then we look at Melissa. Model doesn't even come in the equation. She's here because she has the other attributes of a good model. Stephanie here. She went for strong. The elements were not in her she favor. She did say that she was thinking about her eyes in the sun and kind of lost, lost thought about else. the rest of it. But as a professional model, you shouldn't be able to tell that. And second of all, I think that that outfit is wearing her. Jessica, I think, has great emotion with her eyes. I feel like she's concentrated. I like it. It's very movie starish. And for her, having more of something going on in her eyes, that is a positive. Is model that here. enough? Yeah, maybe if, th if that's enough to be a good top model, that's another question. That's maybe. the question. So I think we've made a decision on who's going home today. So let's bring the girls back in now. Nine beautiful girls stand before me, but I only have eight photographs in my hand. These photographs represent the girls who will still be in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. The best photo this week goes to Kate. Kate, you took our advice to heart and we were really happy to see that you were able to focus. Wow, my first photo. Wow, I'm so happy. <laughs> Congratulations, you're still in the running towards becoming Asia's Next Top Model. And runner-up for best photo is Ashta. Congratulations. Thank you. Jessica. Helena. Thank you. And I have Rachel. Stephanie. Sophia. Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. Trang, Melissa, please step forward. Two beautiful girls stand before me. But I only have one photograph in my hand. The girl whose name I do not call must pack your bags and go home. So who stays in this competition? The girl who consistently tries her very, very best but the judges feel is just not model type. Or the girl who looks like a model, but consistently doesn't show any effort. And the judges are just not sure if you can go any further in this competition. Trang, the judges understand that there is a language barrier. And Melissa, if you want to be in this industry, you need to not only have a great personality, but you need to look like a model. You need to act like a model.
Melissa. Congratulations. You are still in the running towards becoming Asia's next top model. You okay? Trang, you know, you are still gonna have a career. It's just for this competition, the judges feel you can't go any further. The trouble is here is I'm, I'm not the understand and uh, the language and the communication. I'm very difficult to communication, so I have to leave. Now I, I'm not feel sad, but I think when I live here, I will miss them so much. I have to study in this mall, and uh, of course I have to get the more experience and skill the modeling uh, after this competition. Next time on Asia's Next Top Model, while the other girls strengthen their bonds. <laughs> Helena is unable to shake off her reputation as public enemy number one. Whatever it is, just watch your back, just be careful. The competition kicks things up a notch as the girls attempt their first video shoot with a massive reward. You get a all expense paid trip to New York City. But will the girls be able to shine outside their comfort zone? Um, well, Kat, what's the first line? I don't remember my script at all.